What's up guys, this is Whisper in the Wind 2007 and I've got my Light Swan deck profile that I took to the European Championships this past weekend in Berlin. So um, what happened is from that video that I previously put out where uh, I you know, asked all you guys could you um, you know, ask for suggestions, you know, what would you change, what would you take out. You know, I have made changes to the deck based on what people have put on the comments below and uh, yeah, this is what you know what the cards that I could get hold of uh, were the cards that went in and uh, I ended up going X4 with the deck so uh, you know I'm pretty pretty happy with that it's far better than what I thought I'd do because it was my first ever Euros first ever time I'd uh, gone out the country to play to play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh so I knew, I knew I was going to be playing against a lot of hard decks all day and uh, you really had to be on the ball so you know and it was it was intense, but it was great fun. You know, great, great opponents as well. Um, you know, we all had we all had a good laugh. That that was the thing. We all had a good laugh. No, no one was salty or upset or you know so serious that you know they blocked out all fun and all noise and all that shit goes on in in the dual room. But yeah, it was just all it was all fantastic fun, and I've got no complaints about it. Yeah, I enjoyed myself. My opponents enjoyed their sales. So uh, let's go on to the uh, profile then. So uh, I just sort those out. There we go. So start off with. Um, oh, and by the way, this mat uh, it came the day before Euro, so it's a beautiful mat. So uh, uh, I'll, I'll save you guys asking any questions. I got it the day before Euros. Uh, so free Judgment Dragon, free Lumina, uh, free Raiden. Free Goblinburg. I really think I need to play Rotor in this deck because uh, searching out that card is quite good. Uh, triple Trick Clown and Double Thousand Blades. A lot of my opponents actually said they really like the combo of those two, so uh, not a bad choice in the deck. Uh, two Wolf, two Felice. I did have a funny moment in my round one matchup against a Cosmo player where. Um, uh, I crashed my Minerva into uh, one of the cards on his side of the field, milled three Light Swans, blew up his entire field, and then I summoned Wolf and Fleece off of those mills, so I got an extra 32 damage in, which is quite good actually, it wasn't a bad combo. And then I made Stardust Spark to uh, protect my Necro Valley, which was doubly good. Uh, two Lila, one Aaron, one Jane, one Garoth. One Minerva Light Swan Maiden, one Electromagnetic Turtle, and this was quite a big change uh, from one of the suggestions that I got. So, big thank you to whoever suggested this Jet Synchron. That card just opens up so many plays in the deck, and I think it's better than um, better than Glow Up Bob because it doesn't have the once per duel restriction on it. As long as it's in your graveyard, I think the only restriction on it is once per turn. So. You know, as long as it's in your graveyard, just keep using it, and you keep you you can keep returning it with Omega. Or if you have uh, Imperial Armor on the field, it doesn't didn't get banished, so you can really abuse that card. Uh, sp spell cards, and also you, you can use it to get rid of uh, some cards in your hand, like a Trek Clown, which is what I did, and it's, it makes Trish off of just summoning that. Uh, anyway, spell cards: one Rageki, two uh, Instant Fusion. Someone uh, at the tournament recommended I played. Free instant fusion and play Seraph Knight, or have you pronounce that Gem Knight card? So uh, might think about doing that. Uh, Cyclone. Uh, someone said probably put it down to one. I'm keeping it at two for the moment because of the main. If that goes down in the next uh, ban list, uh, which I will do a video on, on my predictions, uh, that might go down uh, to one if uh, the main gets hit. So uh, it it just depends what cards get hit and what what cards don't but at the moment I'm playing two but that could I could lower that if some cards on the next list get hit um, two charge and three solar recharge uh, that's pretty standard for a light swan deck and finally two breakthrough skill uh, I took out the solemn warning on the suggestion of someone uh, because this deck yes does pay quite a few life points and uh, you could mill it whereas that does have a graveyard use so um, not really too sure if it was the right or the wrong decision, but you know, uh, oh well. <laughs> it just had, it, that was just what I played with there. Um, no, no warning, but oh well. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, going on to the uh, extra deck, Team Minerva. A lot of people like looked at me as just like you've got Minervas, and I was like, yeah, I've got Minervas. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the, the actual destruction effect, I really got some good good use out of it. I was, normally, it's one I don't use often, but I, I got some really strong use out of uh, Minerva's destruction effect at the event. And best part, non-targeting. So key to getting rid of those Cosmo cards. Uh, one Dweller, one Castell. Castell, not really seeing as much use as I did before. Where everything's non-targeting or can't be targeted these days. Uh, Evil Swarm or Boris, I got more use out of it than I ever thought I would. But great card to have. Uh, Heroic Chalion, Champion Excalibur. Another card I got fantastic use out of. You know, you can attack over those Cosmos. If your opponent ever has an ultimate falcon on the field, that attacks over it. Uh, one Nordin. Nordin's Nordin. One Michael. One Odd Eyes. Got good use out of Odd Eyes at the event. But yeah, um, some of you would notice I have dropped Ancient Sacred Wyvern. And uh, it was a good card early game if you wanted to get those quick, quick kills in. But later game it wasn't as useful. So I, I dropped it. Bit sad to see it go, but I think it was the right decision. Um, moving on to the eight, I've got Crimson Blader. That actually won me games. But the next card was the MVP of not just the extra deck. I think it was the MVP of the entire deck of the weekend, and that was Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. You make, make it with Jet Synchron. Up it into that off uh, a Michael or a uh, Odd Eyes, and make that and that card is like almost auto win it's all all day and I can't remember how many times I summoned it I summoned it I, I summoned it loads of times in the day it, in the entire tournament only one person outed it just one person out of however many times I summoned it that card is so good mm -hmm. and in in the Cosmo match you tack into a ship you get its honest like effect, boost it, you know, deal 3k, and then when they go to banish it, the the ship, you just say, nope, you, you're not floating. Uh, one Omega, that card works very well. Um, I, I often didn't use the standby phase effect where you could return uh, the banished monster before, but that with Jet Synchron is pretty dirty. Uh, one Scarlight, I did have a funny moment in the side event against a Ghost Trick player where we were in time and we were level on life points. I was on the last turn and I just like used that effect to blow up my own monster. 500 it was, but that was all I needed. Uh, Starter Spark, another card that got some good use out of in my Cosmo matchup. Use it to protect your Iron Wall, protect your uh, Necro Valley. And finally Trish, because Trish is Trish. If you can make Trish in in a deck, I really recommend playing it because uh, it's so good. And finally we will go on to our side decks. So uh, definitely the card I got good money's worth out of was Necro Valley. That screwed over so many decks. I wished I mained it. Uh, Chaos Trap Hole, because everything is light and dark. Imperial Arm Wall, just for the banishing decks. Or even to pick protect yourself against someone who might be main in macro. Uh, triple Mask of Restrict, self-explanatory what deck that goes against. Uh, Anti-Spell Fragrance, I did use it once and it got promptly MST'd. Mischief of the Gnomes, I did use that in the BA matchup. And finally one Slumber and two Gamma Seal as my Kaijus, because Kaijus are very good at the moment. So yeah, uh, I won't go through the matchups because my camera's getting low on battery, but I went X4, which is miles better than I ever imagined I would do. I had amazing time at Euros and I really want to go again. But you know, big thank you to all, all you guys who made the uh, suggestion to change to my deck. Yeah, and also another big thank you to all the guys that I played at Euros. You know, it was great fun. I I did not have a single bad experience there. There's nothing I felt salty about or they felt salty about. It was amazing fun all day and I just really want to do this again. But you know, Big thank you to everyone, and uh, you know, bring on next year. But for now, this is Whispering in. Whisper, I can't even get my name right. Whispering the Wind 2007. Signing out.